Hello everyone and welcome back to Bioshock 2. In the last episode, we got one of our little sister, we got two little sisters um, done and we've got one more to do which she is harvesting for me right now. Um, and we have we have that new ability that if she gets attacked, I can I guess I I guess I automatically yell at her. So, just a safety precaution. Ah, shed. Wish you took a when you took enough pictures. The said enemy that is bothering you that. Oh, get off. Fighter slicers are just annoying. Also, that was a quick gather. Uh huh. Is there a circus of value in here? Because I am low on supplies. Oh, it's in the other door. There's something in the other door. Well, there's a circus of value somewhere. Uh, I'm assuming in this other door. Or not. Okay, then it's... I see one on the map. Ooh, you hypo. There we go. Circus of value. We got rivets. No, proximity mines. Okay, uh, I need first aid kits. Yep, Eve hypos. Um. Sweet. I am full. Where, this, where is this other corpse? Oh! Okay, where was it after I was rudely interrupted? Don't like the sounds that I'm hearing right now. Where the fuck? Yeah, bitch. Wow, they gather Adam faster. I wonder if that's what the Oh my gosh. Okay. Where's your hidey hole? Is it the one that's back in here? Rescue, and that should be the last one on this level. Sick. We got a lot of Adam. With me gone, father, Stanley just let mother's followers turn into animals. When word came that she was returning, he knew they would blame him. So he found a way to silence them all. And now he's trying to cover it up. I... That's it. Now all that old dirt stays underground, and Lamb will be none the wiser. Hey, come on back. I've unlocked the train for you. Uh, but remember, if Lamb catches you, <laughs> mum's the word. Interesting. Um, anyway, I want to get stuff. Love getting stuff. Um...
And I'll do incinerate too. There we go. You know, like, I don't use them often, but like... Delta, our conflict of interest seems to be upsetting Eleanor. Through Adam, Eleanor will become the daughter of the people. A true utopian. Brilliant beyond measure, but utterly selfless. As she ascends, Delta, you and I will seem as dogs, circling and snarling amid the afterbirth. Doc Lamb's turning up the heat, Chief. Head on back to the train station. Let's hit the trail. Would love to. Yeah, there's a big sister coming at me. Yep. Hi. Hold still for the camera. Just hold still for a second. Got more Adam. Someone is hitting me and thinks it's okay. Subject Delta. I have known for years of Stanley's betrayal here and had forgiven him. But in compromising Eleanor now, he seals his fate. You see, it was Stanley who turned you into Ryan. He is responsible for what you have become. The security booth is open now. You may have your revenge. Sweet Jesus. Lamb, no! And she just let me hang myself out the... Oh, God! No, no, no. Come on, pal. The, the, the train's ready. Just... Just let me live! Yeah, no. Did I kill him? I guess I killed him. Well, that's what you get for turning Eleanor into a little sister and me into a big daddy. I let Grace survive because she was just, like, upset. But this guy actually fucked us over. Um. So, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we, well, here we are at Fontaine Futuristics. Oh, God. Fontaine Futur Futuristics. We were here in the first game, I think. Um. I don't know. We'll see if we recognize it. Or if I recognize it, I should say. That was really... I liked that part for backstory-wise. Finding out how Eleanor got turned into a little sister and how we got turned into a big daddy and finding out who we were before we were a big daddy. This is it, Chief. End of the line. If I'm right, Eleanor's mama's using Adam to force all Rapture's minds and memories into the poor girl. Lamb reckons it'll make that child a saint. Now, Eleanor's in a deep, dark place beneath Fontaine headquarters, and to keep you alive, we need to sneak in and find her. Uh, okay. Um, break into Fontaine Futuristics. Well, we're already in there. So, don't gotta do much breaking in. Oh, I had a... Who knows what? You can't just stop, you know, a whole 
count from from talking, can you? Well, maybe you can. Yeah. Maybe you can. Oh, okay, I see. It's this new one. This facility belongs to the city now. To Ryan Industries. At least until the rioting subsides. While it is unfortunate that such measures had to be taken, I must admit, it is gratifying to see you. October 9th, 1967. Hello. <clears throat> My name is Gilbert Alexander. And by the time you hear this, I will be clinically insane. I am recording these diaries in advance as a last-ditch effort to assist anyone I might threaten in dealing with me. My next message awaits you beyond the security checkpoint. The bioscan will ensure that you're sane enough to need it. Huh. Hmm. Gil Alexander. As I recall, he was involved in Big Daddy development from the beginning. Likely had something to do with you and Eleanor, son. Okay. This facility belongs to the city now. To Ryan Industries. At least until the rioting subsides. While it is unfortunate that such measures had to be taken, I must admit, it is gratifying to see this building condemned. Fontaine is gone. Lamb is gone. Or close enough. I am alone at last. Alone with my city. Okay, cool. Anyway, uh, a lot of audio diaries. I just gotta. There we go. See, I literally can survive underwater. I don't know why every time something's gonna blow up. Besides the explosion itself killing me. Ooh, look at that destroyed building. Also, that Alexander Giel guy, or Giel Alexander, whatever his name is, 19, I thought, saw 1967? Something like that? Like, that, that's a, I thought we were like in the 50s when this takes place. No, like, we're in the 60s, possibly 70s. Could be later. I doubt it. But here we go. Heavy rivets. There's still a little three little sisters in this level. Some money. Steal the dead body. What the fuck is hitting me? Ah, uh, come here. Bring me a man. What is hitting me? Gotcha. Oh, come on. Got her, finally. Heavy, oh, I can't pick up heavy rivets. Come 
at me. Finally. Alex the Great. Oh hell. That has to be Gil Alexander, same man who left that message we're following. He sounds mad as a March hare now. Yeah. You good? Let's go. Alpha series. Guess what? Guess what? That was disappointingly weak. Oh, okay, we're good. Hello again. I... I have been exposed to a massive dose of substance, Adam. By the time you hear this, I will have armed this facility's defenses en masse. You, my friend, must therefore penetrate them and kill me. Please believe that if I could have done it myself... Ah, and on that cheery note, you may use the diary lying near this screen to bypass the vocal print locks ahead and enter the security office. The password is Agnes Day. Okay, so basically we got the trust of Agnes Day. Oh, does it is it just like a vocal password of want that how do I get in there with that awful crooner. See if you can find some way to sabotage his control of building security. Delta, you're doodling. The security office is well above your pay grade. If you're so keen to help, the restrooms need a good scrap. Here's a clerk or two to help you along. Ah. Uh. Oh, there's a big daddy around here. Where is the big daddy? Prison, it seems, was a blessing. Brian, 
is now dead by his own son's hand. But far more interesting is the program of compulsion bred into his child, coded W-Y-K. It was some manner of verbal trigger phrase, which the boy would obey as an order, unerringly. In a way, this sad thing, this half-man, had escaped the self. Highly intelligent, but devoid of so-called free will, with all its convenient blind spots. What if he had been instructed to uphold the common good? What if he were a volunteer? <laughs> Uh, got it. Got the little sister and searching the rumbler and this. I forgot what the hell we gotta go. Okay, we've got the little sister in hand and there's a corpse right there. Take care of this splicer. Okay, let's do a gather. Let's do a quick gather. And then call it an episode. Come on, fuck off with the Houdini splicers. I'm, they are probably my least favorite because they just hop around. Oh my God, what the hell? Cool. Everyone who is coming at me can chill. Like, actually. Okay, that's great, sweetie. Let me just... No. I mean, yes. At some point, yes. Are we done? Are we done? Where is it? Where is he? Caught him. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it right here. Um, we're in Fontaine Futuristics. Uh, like Sinclair said, this is the end. We're very close to the end, uh, and we gotta go find Eleanor, who is being pumped full of Adam. For some ungodly reason. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.